How to use stable diffusion to fix character pose for your AI image. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fix or give your AI image a certain pose. So first things first, I'm going to show you my setup. I'm running stable diffusion on Google Colab. So here's how it look. So first things first, I'm using this one, G drive underscore Laura by Nolan Atama. So you should be able to find it and download it from his YouTube channel. So here I'm going to be showing you the model. So for the base model, um, I'm using Magic Mix Realistic. So in default, this is a chill out mix. So what you're going to do is you just have to change the link. This one. So basically I got the base model here and then I just right click and copy link address and then paste it here. And you can either rename this or just leave it at that, but it doesn't really matter very much. All that it does is that it just changed the name here. Okay. Now moving on. So another thing that I'm doing is Loras. I'm basically using two Loras. So I have here uh, AI Hanvi. This is actually TCTH Dream Girl. So if I'm going to click download, basically what will happen is this one. So they're going to be, it will be renamed to AI Hanvi. Okay, that's what I have here. Another is Winter Hanfu. So this one, I'm gonna be using this mainly for the main subject. So for the clothes to look mostly like this. Okay. Now two other very important extensions that I'm using is first the after detailer. So I enabled after detailer here. Basically, I just removed the this one, uh, the number sign, and then after that, I'm able to use it. Okay. Now another thing is here control net again. The control net is our main subject for today's video. So I'm using open post and soft edge. So that's what I'm going to be using. Still the same thing. Just remove this number sign in order for you to be able to use it. Okay. And once that's done, uh, you can now go here in your stable diffusion. So now that you're here, you want to make sure that you have all the other requirements that is needed. So base model is there. And then I'm going to be checking my Loras. Okay. Both of them are here and just going to close that one and then after detailer yes you have your after detailer and then my control net is yep i have my control net and again we're using open post and soft edge so you want to make sure that both of these are activated or at least you have had two control net unit so if you only have one you just go to settings and then go here in uh, control net there you go so click control net and then basically this one multi control net you can just set it to two or three or it's up to you guys okay and then we're going to go back text to image everything is set so i'm gonna be putting here my prompt and then as well as my negative prompt so i'm gonna be putting it here so again i'm using um this one laura a hanvi this is for tcth dream Burl. and i'm using the face particularly for this model and for the winter handful i just set it to one okay and then we're going to scroll down here sampling method let's change it uh dpm plus plus to mkaras and for the sampling steps, I'm going to increase it to 35. That's a lot, I know. And 768 for the height. Batch count, I want to have more images. So I'm going to set this to 5 or let's say 6. CFG scale, let's increase you to 20. Okay, and let's enable after detailer. Actually, I'm not going to be using it very much. I just want to make sure that my uh ai is having a smiley face in order to attract like positive vibes okay now let's go here to our control net our most important subject so i've chosen an image already earlier so i've chosen this image already and i'm going to be using this particularly for the hands so that's why i have entered it here okay you want to enable it and then click open post and then here you have, uh, you can choose open foes full or hand. Again, uh, the main thing that I want to do is the hand. I want AI image to follow this kind of hand. So I'm going to enable that one and I'm going to choose open foes hand. Okay. And then uh, this one control net is more important. I'm going to click run processor. Preprocessor is done. And then I'm going to click the next one. So the same thing, I'm going to have the same image. Okay, this image, 
and then I'm going to click uh, soft edge this time okay you can choose head or pit in it it's up to you guys try to check which one is better and and after that one control net is more important and then run preprocessor okay now that it's done we're going to download this one so now that it's done downloading let's open it to our photo editing tool so here the only thing that you want really to remain is the hands yeah you want to remove basically everything here so what you're going to do is you want to click tools and then paint it uh, with the same color so it's black so I'm gonna paint it black okay so this is basically a very boring process so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fast forward this one in order for you to see the uh, more on the picture okay so again the concept is you want to have the hands alone okay once everything that's done you want to have something like this so this is something that you want to remain so just the hands purely the hands all right so as you can see i've drawn something here also to fill in the gaps and yeah that's what we're going to be using I know this looks terrible, but uh, just wait and see how the result is going to be. So here I'm going to close this one, pre-processor preview, I'm going to close this one as well. And then we want to upload the image that we have already. Okay, this one, so I've uploaded the image. So I set it to none because we already have this image. So yeah, that's how it looks. And yeah, let's, we are clear to go. So let's generate an image. Okay, so images are all generated here. So if you see these two here, um, don't get shocked because that's how it usually is. You have not made a mistake. Now, I think the images that we have created are really amazing. Okay, so this is the compilation. Let's open this one. And then the same thing for the others. okay so now we have generated the images wow these are amazing so you can see the hand poses are all there and yeah the hand poses are all there however they're all covered in different kinds of clothing so let's try to see them one by one okay you have here wow that's amazing okay i think i'm happy with the result wow nice oh wow okay so these are the images that we have generated and yeah basically guys that's how you're going to control so yeah basically guys that's how you're going to fix character foes or control an ai image and give it a certain pose so yes, that's how you're going to fix character pose for your AI image or give your AI image a certain pose.